Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at some third equations. And the third equations that we're looking at, you can see, have square roots in them. Okay, so we need to deal with these square roots before we can do anything else. Now the method that we're going to use to deal with these square roots is to square them. So if we square a square root, then we get uh, the thing underneath the square root sign uh, on its own. So if I go ahead and square that there, I'll be left with x plus 3. So the square root of x plus 3 to be squared is x plus 3. But because I'm dealing with equations, if I square one side, I have to square the other side. So I end up getting x plus 3 is equal to 16. So that means x is equal to 16 minus 3, which is 13. Now for the other one, it's a little bit trickier. We have to first isolate one of these here and then square both sides. If we were to go ahead and square both sides now, it would be this whole thing here squared. So it would be the square of the first, twice the product and the square of the last. So we'd be multiplying the square root of x plus four by the square root of x minus one. And that's not really gonna help us at all. So I'm gonna isolate this square root of x plus four on the left hand side on its own by adding the square root of x minus one to both sides. So the square root of x plus four is equal to one plus the square root of x minus one. Now I have this isolated and I can square both sides. And you'll see what will happen to this side in a minute. So the square root of x plus four squared is x plus four. Now squaring out this, so we've two terms, we've one and we've the square root of x minus one. So it's the square of the first term. So one squared is one. It's twice the product. The product of one times the square root of x minus one is the square root of x minus one. Twice that is plus two square root x minus one. And then the square of the square root of x minus one is x minus one. Okay, so now you can see by isolating uh, one of the square roots and then squaring both sides, I've gone from an equation that has two square roots to an equation that has only one. So now we'll do the same thing again. I'll isolate this square root and then square both sides. So over here on the right hand side, I have one and minus one, so that equals zero. Don't have to worry about them. I'm gonna take away x from both sides and that's gonna leave me with four is equal to two square root x minus one. Now there's two approaches that I can take now. I could divide both sides by two or I could go ahead and square both sides at the same time. Um, I'm going to show you both. So I'll show you first dividing both sides by two will give me four divided by two is two. Two root x minus one divided by two is root x minus one. Now I can square both sides. So I get two squared is four equal to x minus one. And now I can add, x, add one, sorry, to both sides to get x equal to five. Now the other method that I could have used at this stage here was just to square both sides as they were. So four equals two root x minus one. So if I square both sides now, squared, squared, four squared is 16. Now to square two square root x minus one, I need to first square the two. So it's two squared is four and then square the square root of x minus one. So I get 16 is equal to four times x minus one. Now I can either divide by four or I can multiply out the brackets. If I divide by four, I'll end up with this line here. If I multiply out the brackets, 
I'd get 16 is equal to 4x minus 4. Now I'll add 4 to both sides. So 16 plus 4 is 20. And now you see I have to divide by 4. So I end up getting the same answer of as x equal to 5. So it's just a couple of methods that you can use there. Both are absolutely fine. Um, so you can use either one. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.